All right, in this next tutorial, we are going to calculate our corporate tax rate. All right, this is for the weighted average cost of capital portion of our project, part one. Um, we've calculated the cost of equity. We've calculated the cost of debt. And now we need to figure out the rate, the tax rate, the average tax rate for this firm. I'm gonna do some hiding again. Right click and go to hide. And now, we will calculate the third part. Calculating the corporate tax rate. I have a theme here using this slight tan color. I'm happy with it. Here we go. So we need some information. And we can get everything in this case, nine times out of 10, we can just find it on the standardized statement. So if you go to the standardized statement, the standardized income statement, all you need is earnings before tax and taxation, right? Earnings before tax might also be called taxable income. Um, and I sort of like to think about it, think of it as taxable income because that's the income that you have to pay tax on. So I'm going to copy it, bring it back over here into my weighted average cost of capital. I'm going to give myself a space so that I can type in my dates. Those are my earnings before tax, and taxation is the same thing as income tax expense. So that's the amount of tax that Hershey's has paid. Again, I'm going to delete those cells to make more room, shift them to the left, add my dates. Drag it over. Make it bold and center. Now it's nice and pretty. And now here I can calculate income tax rate, which is also known as TC, tax subcorporate. And it's the same formula for interest rate, right? It's just what percentage of this earning before tax needs to be paid to the government as tax. So you take the taxation or the income tax spent, the income tax expense, and divide it by the earnings before tax. And here we've got 34%. I'm gonna drag it. And in this case, they're all about the same, which is great. Um, corporate tax rates tend to be in the high 30s. Um, so if you end up with something like this, that's good. I'm gonna use for my corporate tax rate, I'm gonna use the average of these because they're so close together. You can use the average. If there's an outlier, you know, they've paid 1% tax one year, that's probably not very realistic. I'd remove that. Um, if, there's, if they have a negative tax expense one year but the rest are in the 30s, you can use your judgment. Finance is not at all like accounting um, because you get to use your judgment, and there's a lot of times when you ask yourself, well, what is likely to be their tax rate in the future? Right? That's what we're trying to get at, is what do we think their future tax rate's gonna look like? Something like their past tax rate, sure. Um, so you use your judgment. We're not gonna assume that it's gonna fluctuate wildly. We're gonna try to pick a number that's sort of representative of what, what we think it might be. So I'm gonna go with 35.208%. All right, let me know if you have any questions. If you're confused about your tax rate, um, you can send me your spreadsheet and ask a question. But if it's you know pretty straightforward, I'd say you're good to go. Happy calculating, as always, happy calculating.